Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got John writing in, um, actually a comment on one of the videos. We're talking about compact travel cameras. He's trying to decide what compact travel camera to purchase. This is coming in hot on the heels of the new Sony RX100VA announcement, so Mark 5A, which actually is of more interest to me, as I said before, I think, than a 6. Uh, the 6 has that longer zoom, but a slower lens. The uh, 5 retains the original, the V8, the 5A retains the original 5's lens, so a faster, shorter zoom, which I kind of more my kind of lens on those cameras. Although, if it's more of a compact travel camera, I could see why the 6 might be more to your liking because you've got a longer zoom and it's probably going to be better for grabbing, uh, in the sense of when you're traveling, stuff in the distance, stuff up close, and you're willing to lose some of that speed perhaps. So John says, hi, I'm really torn on the, be uh, on the best compact travel camera to purchase. The LX10, so that's the Panasonic LX10, which as you'll know is a big favorite of mine. I quite like that. It's uh, probably my choice over the RX105 and probably as well the RX105A. No knock on the RX100, just that the LX10 is a better value. It's a lot less money. The LX10 ticks most boxes for me, other than the zoom being limited. I've currently found many options that meet all the requirements other than this, but really would like the screen to rotate 180 for selfies. I see the RX100 Mark VI meets my requirements with better zoom, but cannot justify the higher price. So that's John writing in and hitting the same kind of point I was making there, is that I think the LX10 is a better value um, because the price is much less than the RX100, and it does basically... Is essentially the exact same camera, just one's from Panasonic, one's from Sony. Um, the Mark VI, again, if it's a travel camera, you may want to pay that premium for that longer zoom because a lot of people would prefer to have that longer zoom and a slightly slower lens as far as aperture and speed than the shorter, faster lens. I use mine a lot for uh, vlogging and blogging and things like that. Um, so I prefer that faster lens so that I'm never in, I, I like the speed. So if I'm in a darker situation, the camera can handle it better. Um, and I don't usually need that uh, that length. That said, I often have another pocket camera. Um, I think it's the ZS100 uh, in the car too, because that has a long zoom for the exact same reasons. And it doesn't have the full flip up screen, but I don't use it for selfies and things. Very rarely anyways, I use the LX10. So I guess if you're looking for an all round meets all your, your bases, maybe the six is better in that sense. I do like the LX10, that is my probably my favorite little pocket camera. Um, not that I have any knocks against the RX100, it's just the LX10 can be had for almost half the price, which to me is a great value. And it's got that faster lens, I really like it. Um, both 4K cameras. Um, the LX10 especially works. I really like the um, remote system with the app. So that's still where I would probably go, although if it is going to be more of a travel camera and less for doing like what I do, where you're doing a lot of videos and vlogging and things, um, you may wish to consider that longer lens. It might be worth the extra money for you. I think if that was primarily what it is, travel, I would probably look at that myself. It's not what I use my LX10 for. As I said, I have access to other cameras. So what do you guys think? If you're using it for more of a travel camera, do you prefer the uh, Sony RX106 with its longer, slower lens? Or do you still are you still okay with like a 2470 equivalent lens, but that's faster? Would you prefer the faster lens? And if that's the case, do you go Sony RX100, uh, 5A or 5, or do you go with the Panasonic LX10 at a good cost savings? Let me know what you guys think. Let's help out John. Let me know in the comments below which way would you go and why. And uh, let's help him out. Always great to get your feedback. And um, thanks for your question, John. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.